So my brother's gonna start up the car for the first time. <laughs> He's a bit nervous. Um, Last minute check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, fuel, yes. <laughs> so I guess you have checked the uh, check all the things. I guess ten times now, um, and uh, hopefully it's gonna start up and not make any unusual noises. But uh, yeah, crosses, crossing our fingers <laughs> <laughs> for our first engine swap. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's uh, out back, and uh, yeah. So the good thing is, I haven't changed my engine yet <laughs> on my Land Rover, but he has to change his on his uh, Subaru. So most of the done, uh, job is done. So it's just you're just about to take it out. And that's the new old motor going in. So the engine is out, now we're just going to build a stand for it and then uh, hook up the other engine and check if all the parts are there and then hopefully... <laughs> so hopefully today it's uh, we can get the uh, new engine, new old engine back into the engine bay. have the new old new engine and the old engine that, that was in the spotter so we are starting to check the the new one and uh, see what's uh, broken and uh, replacing those parts but uh, the one thing I noticed so they have cut off the main uh, engine harness which means we have to replace the engine harness so we have to remove and it's gonna be a ton of work just changing that out because everything needs to go off we need to take off the the inlet and uh, yeah so I think it's just bad service cutting this I saw other places as well like on the sensors here you have they have cut them even though they don't have to cu cut them so uh, yeah just uh, the guys that are taking out the engines don't th think about the guys that are going to put in the engine so yeah bad service I think but we're going to continue and move over the everything you need to the new engine and then hopefully we can get it and get uh, the new engine into the car today
Okay, shorter update. So we have removed the old harness. Took about an hour and maybe 15 minutes, I think. So we ended up taking off the inlet, uh, the plastic inlet, uh, just to make it easier for us to uh, to lay the old harness on the new engine afterwards. So uh, because there are some connections inside here, which is uh, it's pretty pretty tight. So just easier to for us to see. Uh, also, uh, move some piping over from the old engine to the new engine, which they have cut off when they have removed the engine. So yeah, so uh, now we're gonna take off the harness of the old and then uh, put it over to the to the new engine. So hopefully it's gonna go much quicker now that we have done it once. So yeah. Okay, short update. So we moved the uh, old harness over to the new engine. Uh, took a bit longer than we really thought. It's uh, really tight underneath the inlet here to get it to get the connections to enter. So and also we found a crack on the old old uh, inlet. So we re replaced that as well. Uh, the only thing missing now is the the sensors, uh, so we will try to get them off. We have got them off uh, from the, the new engine, so hopefully we can save the old old sensors. And uh, after that, it's pretty much done and ready to put in the car again. So we are back. Yesterday we struggled to get the sensor out. Uh, so we are going to try with some heat and hopefully we can get it out. Uh, because the two sensors are pretty expensive. So hopefully we can save them and use them.
So short, short update. Uh, we, we got the sensors out by cutting a thread so we can use the socket instead of the wrenches. Uh, so that seems to have worked. Uh, I don't know if the heat worked but the sockets did actually get them out. So uh, now there's only one problem left and that is one broken bolt. <laughs> and, uh, We can start to drill it and hopefully we can get it out. But it's going to take some time because it's, uh, I think it's probably five centimeters uh, left of the bolt inside of the engine. So uh, yeah, and it's the bolts that are holding the engine together with the gearbox. So yeah, drilling and hopefully get the bolt out. So on an update, drill the hole through, uh, almost through the whole entire bolt, but we're gonna drill out, drill a bit bigger and then try to use a Torx to get it out. Det rör sig nog där lite grann där ute i alla fall. Men kan man att den går den runt? Ja, den går runt. Nej, han har fått lov att fly. Du blir att fly han med. Nej, vet du. Gå som ny. Så, lilla update. The bolt is removed and the... The... Hold is really threaded. So we are pretty much done to, uh, so we can put it back, put the engine back into the the car, or put the new engine into the car. Just tightening up the front motor mount. Bra! Inga! Nu har kanske jag haft detta. Så... Jag ser den här extra åkvåta fan. Jag 
Ja, men det er noe av vin. Hæ? So, update. We got the engine in yesterday and uh, today my brother is going to finish up all the wiring uh, and then we're going to film uh, the startup. So, looking forward to the startup. Hopefully, it's not going to make the same noise as the old engine. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> So my brother has been at it for one and a half hours and uh, started to mount a bunch of stuff. So the AC is, is mounted and uh, yeah, so, uh, but it's still a long way to go. So I brought him some coffee. What? <laughs> Du har lagt den på bortesida varmen opp på på via ute i bilen. Ah, ok. Og nå får du se deg på en timeblast. Det er en time da du får se etter deg. Åja. Jeg kjenner ikke faen ikke. Og så er det mest så så fint når det er så bak om deg. Nei. Ta en stille. Nervøs? Nei. Stein. Ja? Jeg har vært redd med tang for å få på plass få på plass Stefan. Ja, bra. Anbefales. Kult. Very exciting. So, my brother is going to start up the car for the first time. He's a bit nervous. Last minute check. Ja. Okay, fuel, yes. So I guess you have checked the check all the things I guess 10 times now um, and uh, hopefully it's gonna start up and not make any unusual noises but uh, yeah crossing, crossing our fingers <laughs> for a first engine swap so uh, I 
Den har fagmelding, eller? Ja, putt den på. Det er fælles. Det er kun fælling på... ...som ikke er vant til, så det er servoen. Det er trøkket, sikkert. Ja, det kan være der. Har du strøm på det? Har du drøvd inn til at det har du gjort? Nei. Jeg synes ikke det har strøm på. Ok, du er stedet. Okay, first try. And, uh, looks like it got power, but the, the starting motor isn't turning. Yes. <laughs> so try to start. There's enough uh, power on the battery to uh, everything to light up in the display. But the, the starting motor won't uh, turn over, so we can hear it, so it tries, but uh, it doesn't turn over the engine. So maybe it's uh, just not enough power in the batteries. Hopefully the booster will be enough to, to get it started. So we try a second time. Maybe the booster didn't have enough power, so we are going to get my my defender battery because I know it's fully charged. It's charging right now, so uh, yeah. So going to get that, and then uh, we're going to try for a third time. So hopefully, third time's the charm. So uh, I just live behind those houses, so it's not far. So it's been charging, so it's going to be fully charged, so we're going to take that and go and try and start up the survivor. So it didn't crank, uh, so we're going to take off the intercooler and check the starter motor and see the connection that there are. And uh, let's see that the connections are seating properly and uh, but my brother didn't forget anything. No, no. <laughs> so uh, we will see. So 
my brother just found a cable or a connection and he felt on the back side of the starter that there was a pin. On the relay of the starter. Relay of the starter, yeah. <laughs> kind of loose. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember if you put it in the first time? <laughs> <laughs> or just forgot it? Because it was kind of hiding behind the, um, the uh, coolant hoses that were going, yes. going inside there. So maybe didn't see it. It should be big and pink. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, so uh, back with the uh, it's behind you. The intercooler, get that on, and then we're gonna try again to start. So, uh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Starts. And hopefully, it's gonna start up right away. We are ready to start up for the fourth time after finding the missing wire. So hopefully it's going to start. Okay, so we started. <laughs> I just want to say well done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first engine swap, and my brother did it first. So, uh, uh, we had, it started on the fourth try, and uh, I've refilled the, the coolant. So we're trying to air out the, the cooling system by starting up. Uh, need to get uh, enough heat for the the sensor or the what's it called thermostat. Thermostat, yeah, to open. So you get circulation through the whole engine, and then we can get the air out. So uh, yeah. Start. But we need the hood back on also.
update. Uh, it's uh, a week later after we started up the, the spider. Uh, so my brother drove it to work on uh, on Friday, and uh, when he drove home, it uh, got really hot. And uh, he, when he stopped, you can see smoke coming up from uh, in between the DPF and the engine. So uh, he has replaced the DPF and the turbo, the whole module, and took it from the the old motor. Also changed the thermostat. Did you buy a new one? Yes. Yeah. So he bought a new one. Also bought new sensors for DPF um, because we cut them to get get them off. Exhaust temperature. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, also replace other bits like uh, this uh, pulley wheel, uh, the tensioner. Uh, yeah, so now it's just finishing up, putting it all back together, uh, and hopefully it can start up and it's gonna work fine. So yesterday, uh, put everything back together, uh, filled it up with the coolant, and today, going to start it up. So hopefully, it's gonna start up, run fine. There's not gonna be any heat issues, and uh, yeah, just cross my finger that uh, that the car is gonna start up fine and work as it should. My brother's been at it for almost two weeks now, so for his sake. So it starts fine. So I've been just hoping it's gonna it's gonna run fine and not overheat or. Uh, Put out smoke like like it is uh, did uh, last week. driving the water it's gonna drive it uh, a bit just to get the heat up and then see check if there if there's still smoke in the engine compartment uh, hopefully not uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> for sure on the heart so uh, really gonna wait man the first day on the Ja. <laughs> ja, det er jo det det blir. Ja, ja. Tung til lenger opp der bakka. Ja, det ser vi. So, update, uh, it's running fine, but uh, 
there's not coming any heat of the on the inside on the in the coupe and also uh, the top hoses are warm but the bottom hose is going from the radiator all the way down there is uh, it's not warm so it's not circulating so uh, we are not sure why if it's hot enough or uh, because we haven't run it too much so we will see it we will try and air it out even more Okay, so good news. We're starting to feel the heat in the uh, side of the cabin, so it's starting to circulate. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> but now it's getting really warm. So yeah, it's getting it's getting proper warm. So uh, it started. It, the thermostat had definitely opened up now. Uh, so that's a good thing, meaning that the uh, the coolant is uh, circulating. Is that right? Um, so we're going to go back now and check the reservoir, fill up uh, more coolant if you have to, uh, and then probably go one more trip up to uh, to the small hill that we were on because it seems like that got the air after uh, out of the system because now it's super warm. And my brother is feeling happy inside. <laughs> <laughs> So we, uh, yeah, we was we was a bit afraid that uh, maybe the water pump was uh, was dead, but uh, it's definitely working <laughs> because I'm <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. coolant um, but it's all gone now and, uh, yeah. so, so the motor is properly warm and uh, seems to be working fine so open up they came air out of the system so that's good so I think the air out of the, the loop into the cabin is, uh, is out because after we were on the hill all the heat come out came out so uh, yeah looking good so far
always seems happy ending on the engine swap. So uh, he's gonna go home today and then uh, tomorrow we'll drive to work and hopefully it's gonna be all fine. And, uh, Det er luft ut, vet du. Men det handler jo om det selv, og så vet de at de har fått mye penger i stedet. Ja. Men du vet jo at det blir en sånn outback-mann, og for nå bytter du bare alt. Ja, jeg kan jo bytte det. Men vi har ikke lov til å bytte oss av det. Nei, nei. Bra. Så, ja. Just really proud of my brother for doing the engine swap. Uh, I didn't have doubt that he couldn't do it, but uh, just taking it on uh, like he did. So yeah, and I'm really happy it uh, it turned out well. So hopefully it's gonna stay running and uh, not giving any more issues in a while, at least.